Hi guys, my name is Puspendra and once again I came with a new video. Here you will understand how you can adjust the cell size according to your design or according to the content inside the table view cell. Here I have took this normal example and here inside the cell I have taken this title and this is the description. This is the small description, this is the big description and here you can see every, every cell have different size. This is the big cell, this is the small cell. So we will understand the complete functionality of a cell inside this tutorial. So let's continue with this uh, tutorial and with the demo. Here I am going to create new project. Here I will create one table view. That is already a view controller, I will delete this and I will create another table view controller for now here I will take one label view that is the table view cell where you have to put the item and uh, this table view contain multiple cells we will code for that but, uh, but first of all I will design that I will set the constraint uh, for setting the constraint if you did not watch my last video then watch after clicking on my channel you can get all the videos here I am setting the constraint that's cool now I will create a class for this table view controller new file the class will be coca touch class and type of that will be UI table view controller uh, the name uh, I am giving the same name ok and one class I will create for uh, this cell ok so that we can assign the uh, uh, class to this cell here so same new file coca touch file and ui table view cell ok you can give name as per your requirement so don't need to be worry about it so i have cell i have uh, that now i will assign this class and i am also deleting this view controller because this is not required for me ok so main view click on main, main view controller and here you will find so here you can see give table view controller create and storyboard id also now we will assign a class to this cell table view cell whatever we have created and uh, reuse identifier is cell now I will take this lab label and uh, I will assign to I will create the outlet actually here I will create a outlet okay now we'll go to the table view controller here nothing remove the unnecessary code section 1 number of row into the section for now I'm taking uh, 10 and uncomment this here reuse identifier cell as we have created and type of great now start your project and see the output
okay there, there is error description okay so we will change the name of this one done now click click now run and see the output it's loading oh we forgot to initiate as a initial view controller select click here and check is initial view controller now you will see the output and output is coming with error what is the error okay actually that is coming because of we change that name now so what we have to do for that i will delete this i will take here i will select this and i will select this la class from here table view cell and i will assign this again and i will give name like albedes this description okay and i will remove this one great now again we will see what will be the output now you can say output is here but what if some text have uh, big data and some text have small data so let's say um, go to table view controller here i am taking one list and the type will be string okay here i will add few value inside inside that for loop i 0 to 10 and here we will write the code i'm just giving a syntax if i percent title 2 double equal to 0 else we can say it's a hi this is a small string and here i will add big string okay i will copy and paste the big string so now here i will pass list dot count and here i will set cell dot albedes dot text equals list and the item from index dot row now let's see the output i hope definitely there is chances you will find the issue so here you can see you you are not able to see the multiple line you are only seeing the single line what we have to do for that click on main view controller select label view multiple line and give maximum for now 20 line and now again see the output what will be the output so now you can see it's automatically adjusting your view according to the um according to the content inside the table view so let's say if there is one more now we have one more label and this is the same 10 10 
10 and from bottom 20 now what will happen in that case and I will assign this to outlet in my cell class and the name of this will be lb title ok now let's see the output what will be the output here I am setting title that is actually static ok lb title dot text equal to title of the row index path dot row plus one now we will see the output what will be the output so you can see it's adjusting according to the screen size according to the content size so guys this is very simple here you can understand how you manage your multiple view inside the cell and how you can uh, adjust a view without doing anything it's happening so thank you guys thank you so much if you really like the video please like and subscribe my channel thank you guys have a